Good morning, LC Valley and Nonprofit World. Tuesday morning here. Almost time for the weekend. Seriously though, this is Lewis Clark Service Corps, and I'm here to bring you your nonprofit tech tips. Since this is my first episode, I think I'll present to you what I think are some of the biggest things to be aware of in the world of Web 2.0 and nonprofit tech. First on the agenda, Google Maps, Google Sites, Google Docs, Google everything. So what can I do with Google Apps? Uh, everything. You can do everything. But let's start with something practical. Google Docs. Here's the scenario. You want to send out a flyer to your volunteers. So what do you do? You hop onto Word or Publisher, and you sit there, you make everything all pretty and perfect and wonderful and all of that. And then, if you want input, you send it out to your coworkers and others, and they send you back more files with their revisions. You look at the revisions, and then incorporate them into your document. In the end, you have a message that you want to spread via the internet. So, next step, you attach the file to an email, and then send it out to all the people you want to see it. If there are any errors at this point, there's nothing you can do about it. And you just hope that everyone plans to attend your TED fundraising event March 3rd, of which they have no idea where to meet for because you forgot to put that in. So, how could this have gone better? Well, that's where Google Docs comes in. With Google Docs, you would sign into the service, click on Create a New Document, edit it much in the same way you would edit in Word, but a little easier. You would have the option of importing existing Word documents, too, or using the template provided by the service. Now, when you're done, Instead of sending a document in an email for revisions to be made in separate copies, you can create a link, treating your document like a web page that everyone can work on. Flyers are just one example, and I encourage you to explore the other services, including presentations, drawings, and spreadsheets. And I may go over these in future episodes. Next on the agenda is zamzar.com a free online conversion service that allows you to convert any kind of file into another kind of file. The great part about this is that you can get the conversion you want without downloading any software. All the service requires is that you upload the file and give it an email address to send it to when it is finished processing. So what might you use this service for? Well, sometimes you have a video and you just want the audio from it. Or, maybe you are trying to turn a Word document into a PDF for a particular purpose, or a PDF into a JPEG, etc. The only downside is that if it is a fairly large file, it can be a few minutes or even a few hours to return the file. Although this is getting better as the services become more popular. Another service that is good for this is MediaConvert at media-convert.com. That concludes this episode of Nonprofit Tech Tips. I've run out of items to share, but here is a website that I'd like you to check out before I take off. It's called freerice.com. It's a site that prompts you to answer simple questions on your choice of topic, such as Spanish and English vocabulary, grammar, math, geography, and art. And for every question you get right, sponsors will pay for 10 grains of rice to be sent through the World Food Program to combat hunger. The questions are fun, and it's a great way to build your skills. I don't expect this site to become more abundant anytime soon. Check it out, and I will see you next time on Tech Tips.